Today is my day in the life video with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So I woke up at 6.20 a.m., tried to put my alarm clock off. I always struggle in the morning, I can barely see. I always wake up feeling like I've been hit by a bus. But I took my phone off charge, and then I checked my notifications. If I have any messages, I go ahead and reply to them. And then I went ahead to brush my teeth. So I'm one of those guys that brushes my teeth before I eat in the morning as well as after. So while I brush my teeth, I normally scroll through Twitter or Instagram, any form of social media app. Often when I wake up in the morning, like I said, I feel groggy and showers just kind of boost me and wake me up. And if I don't shower, I find I'm not productive. When I'm showering, I like to play music and the iPhone 14 Pro Max has super loud stereo speakers. It also has IP68 water resistance. So yeah, I usually bring it in the bathroom, play some music while I shower. Then I go ahead and style my hair. I use this really dope hair powder from my local barbers. So once I've done that, I then go ahead and clean up my desk. Honestly, just having a nice clean desk, it motivates me to work and be more productive and living like a slob can actually hold you back with your productivity. So I usually go ahead and edit some videos. Then I just go on my phone, I'll scroll through social media, I'll check my emails, and then I go ahead and make my bed. So yeah, any of those five minute small tasks you have to do like cleaning up, just go ahead and do it. Get it over with, then you can move on to more productive things. Then I went to get something to eat. Honestly, I love watching things, so I tend to watch things on my phone a lot, like Joe Rogan podcasts, or just really any science video. I love watching like Neil deGrasse Tyson, or just anything about science and space and the universe. And while I did that, I went ahead and prepared some porridge. I chopped up a banana to put on top, just to make it a little bit healthier. And then I topped it off with some maple syrup, which definitely isn't healthy, but it does make it taste a whole lot better. And once I made my breakfast, I then went ahead and put off my video that I was watching. So yeah, that's me watched a video for a while now. I'm at 97% after about an hour of using my phone so far. So I have finished my breakfast, which was really nice actually. And there's a little bit of a gap through the curtain here. So I can see the sun is rising. It tends to rise about 8.30 a.m. and it's currently like 8.20. So in 10 minutes, it should be coming up a little bit more. I'm really hoping there's going to be like a gap in the clouds because I really want to shoot some nice pictures as well as maybe some aerial footage with my drone. Um, so yeah, I'm going to head out. I'm going to drive up to this really nice spot, which is uh, a hill in the middle of the city. And I'm going to see if there's any good views. Normally before I go out anywhere, I decide upon which case I'm going to use on my phone. So I have a carbon fiber case from Pitaka, as well as a clear case, which I reviewed. This one is made by Rhino Shield, and I really like this, it's pretty simple. And then if I'm looking for a kickstand, if I want to prop my phone up, and I want something a little bit more rugged, then I use this Spigen case right here, uh, which is really nice, has an Apple logo cut out, and it's just really stealthy and completely matte black. So. Right now, I've just come up to the Dundee Law. It's my car right there. Um, you can actually drive up here, but it's a really steep hill in the center of the city of Dundee, which is in Scotland, if you didn't know that. And uh, there's like a war memorial up at the top here. But I came up here because it's a perfect spot just to get some good photos of sunrise and of the city and of the river. And uh, it is freezing up here and there's so many seagulls, um, but it's nice and quiet. Don't want it too busy just because it's peaceful, you know, you can just uh, kind of think about life, take some nice pictures, see the sunrise, fly my drone, yeah. So this is how the, the rear camera looks, just 4K, 30 FPS, just because this video is 30 FPS, so there's no point shooting in 60. But yeah, this is how it looks, great dynamic range. It's unbelievable, you can see all the highlights correctly exposed and all these shadows down here. Are looking good as well that's the three times two times which is the digital digitally cropped uh, video right there and then this is wide angle so uh just for the bands might as well use all the lenses and uh this is how the wide angle is looking i think i like this one the best actually just because i'm so high up yeah wide angle fits a lot in I just want to point out that I'm using the always on display. I did go ahead and turn it off and I mentioned in my review video that I don't use it, but then one day I turned it on to show someone and since that day, maybe about three weeks ago, I haven't turned it off. So I've been using it and kind of liking it honestly a little bit more than I did at the start. Um, 
But yeah, as you can see with the always on, you can kind of see your notifications, a couple of widgets that pop up, like the sunrise, sunset times, how many calories I've burned, and my rings for my Apple Watch, my fitness. So uh, yeah, I kind of dig the always on right now, and you can also see the weather, so I can see it's gonna rain in 14 minutes, even though it's already raining now. Oh. So now I am back. I'm gonna go for a little walk because uh, yeah, I feel like going for a walk, it really just freshens you up and it makes you feel a little bit more motivated for the day. So I'm gonna walk down to the riverfront. I love walking by water. There's something just really satisfying about it. So um, yeah, I'm kind of excited. It is very cold, so I'm gonna wear my gloves. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys down there once I get to the river. Really neat feature of the Dynamic Island on this phone is when you're using navigation in the Maps app, you can actually see live turn-by-turn -turn directions in that Dynamic Island, which allows you to multitask on your phone while using the Maps. I swear this is such a tiny street. Like, look how wide this is. Crazy, right? On my walk, I briefly stopped to try and capture some shots at the waterfront, but it was pretty cloudy. It made it pretty challenging to get a nice shot. So, almost there now. My phone is at 89% and I've been using it for about almost three hours now from just scrolling through social media, using the back camera for videos and taking pictures and uh, obviously navigation as well as listening to music. So 11% down after three hours is pretty good. So I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful now. So let's see, uh, see how we do today. So I finally made it down to the waterfront, which is pretty much my favorite spot in Dundee for taking pictures. Just looks really aesthetic with the ship here, which is the Discovery ship actually. Pretty historic ship in the UK. And then you also have the new Victoria and Albert Museum. This is one of the coolest spots. I love walking through here. It's like an archway that goes through the V&A Museum. And then on the other side, you have the river and a little glimpse of sun sunrise. <laughs> I'm a massive fan of the 48 megapixel raw photos out of this camera. Honestly, they have great dynamic range and they're really flexible when you're color grading or editing your images in Lightroom. So right now it's 9.17 a.m. I'm down to 87% after three hours of use with this phone, uh, which is pretty good, honestly. I'm really impressed. I'm also super impressed by these EV charging ports built directly into the floor. This is really cool. So when you park up next to the sidewalk, you just plug your car in and you're good to go. Then I took a break, I was getting a little bit tired of walking and it was super cold, so I decided to scroll through Twitter and I also went ahead and played some music, really big fan of Guardians of the Galaxy, the soundtrack for number one is awesome. And then I decided to take some pictures of the nice view here. So very cloudy, definitely not the nicest sight in Scotland, it does tend to have clouds and grey buildings, so it's hard to take nice pictures. But then I went ahead and tested out the three times telephoto as well as the wide angle lens. And as you can see here, great dynamic range and really awesome cameras, honestly. And then finally, I took a picture of this street art, which is of a whale skeleton. This turned out really, really nice. This spot right here is awesome for taking pictures. Like these leading lines on the floor as well as the colored pillars. Oh, it just looks sick. But uh, this is just underneath the Tay Road Bridge. And I'm going to shoot some raw pictures. I'm going to try color grade them. Uh, yeah, I'll post them up. I'll put them up on the screen so you guys can actually see how they turned out. Then the sky cleared up a bit, so I thought, you know what, let's just go ahead and fly the drone. I have the DJI Air 2S, and this drone is a pretty large drone. It's over 250 grams, but I do have a license to fly it. And I mounted my phone into here. It does actually go ahead and charge the device, so I turned off the remote charging, so that doesn't happen. And then here we go flying the drone honestly flying the drone is super awesome just seeing things from like the perspective of a bird is always a cool thing so let's just have a look at some b-roll So then I decided to walk back to my office, I prepared to start work, I've got 73% now and it is 10am. I'm actually a marketing manager for a telecoms company down in England, so I first just started checking my emails, I wrote some emails back, did some graphic work as well as some website design, 
And uh, yeah, then I went ahead and took a little break, scrolled through social media a little bit, just through Instagram. And the 120 hertz on the iPhone 14 Pro Max feels so buttery smooth, especially compared to on Android. I mean, on my Pixel, it just feels a little bit janky when you're scrolling through those social apps. Then I went and cooked some lunch, checked my trading two on two, which is a stocks and trading app. I don't invest big, but I like to gradually add money into the app every so often, every time I get paid. And honestly, it's a really good way of just learning how stocks work in general. So I always try and dedicate some time to it. So it hit like 1 p.m. It's now 1.14 and I still have 62%, which is definitely good. I'm happy with that. But personally, my mindset and my body, I feel like I'm at 10% charge myself. So I decided to make some iced coffee. And honestly, I just needed that boost a little bit to keep me going through the afternoon. I'm not a massive fan of coffee, so I did sweeten it down. I added whipped cream and some chocolate spread, kind of made it into a mocha, but I think it turned out pretty good. And then I went back to my desktop, did some more work for the rest of the day. I checked my emails, did some video editing, and then I went ahead and packed up and left for the gym because I do like a good workout. So once I got to the gym, it was about 7 p.m. I've now got 47% battery left on my phone and today's workout session was chest and triceps. So I started off with some chest press, then I did some skull crushers, and then I went ahead and moved on to the pectoral fly. Honestly, chest is probably one of my favorite days in the gym. I just really like doing my chest workouts. And recently, I really want to try to do a handstand. I find it so hard to kick up, so I find it easier to sort of back up towards the wall. So obviously, I'm at 43% now, but I have been using my phone to listen to music in the gym as well as actually filming my workout. So it's 9 p.m. now, and I walked to the local 24-7 bakery. While I was waiting for my food, I did scroll through social media a little bit as well as use Apple Pay for obviously paying for it. And I'm down to 41% by the time I got back and started to eat the food. So guys, that is pretty much it. That's my full day pretty much over. It's now 1 a.m. and I have 39% battery. So I got up about 6.30, took it off charge. So I've been using it for about like 16 and a half hours now and I still have 39% battery left. So yeah, battery life is king on this phone. Every phone I've had has had pretty trash battery compared to the iPhone. When I switched over to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, that thing had much better battery than my S20 Ultra, but the iPhone 14 Pro Max is another level of battery. I normally get like nine or 10 hours screen on time pretty much every single day. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That's my day in the life with the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now, normally throughout the day, I also do use like my Pixel 6a. If I'm doing my top app video, I tend to be on that quite a lot trying to find apps, but mostly I am using my iPhone as like my primary device. But if you want to find out more about my thoughts and opinions of the iPhone 14, definitely do go check out my full dedicated review video, which is on the channel. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Remember to smash that subscribe button as well as the thumbs up. Let me know down below in the comment section what you thought of this style of video. I know it's quite different to sort of what I usually do on this channel, but I just wanted to try something new and someone commented saying I should do a day in the life video. So I was like, you know what? I'll give it a bash and uh, yeah, this is it. So yeah, I will see you guys later. I'm super tired. I'm gonna lie down and uh, maybe tomorrow I'm gonna finish up editing all my other videos. So um, yeah, see you later. Oh,